Hi friend. Welcome all to my educational channel Math A to Z. In this class we discuss some important MCQ type question on real analysis basically on differential calculus and the first question of the class is let fx equal to mod of sin pi x x greater than 0 then f is differentiable except for the integral value of x option 2 nowhere differentiable option 3 nowhere continuous option 4 differentiable only for the positive integral value of x here the function is fx equal to mod of sin pi x x greater than 0 now if we draw a graph of this function this is x axis this is y axis or this is fx axis and we know that the curve of y equal to sin pi x is this this is x equal to 1 this is x equal to 2 and this is x equal to 3 because sin pi is 0 sin 2 pi is 0 sin 3 pi is 0 and here the curve is not in x equal to 0 because they are x greater than 0. Now since y equal to mod sin pi x so there is no part lower side of x axis. So this curve is on the upper side this type and here is this type ok. So all the wave in the upper side of x axis. Here x equal to this one, x equal to 2, x equal to 3 and so on. So clearly from the picture that at x equal to 1, at x equal to 2, at x equal to 3, we cannot draw a tangent to the given curve. So here, here and here, that is for all, all integral value, the differentiation does not exist. Otherwise the curve is continuous. And all the other points except integral value are differentiable and so our option 1 that is here given differentiable except for the integral value of x is correct because here, here and here is not differential or on the other point the function is differentiable and the option 1 is correct. Now go to the second question. If f is real value function defined on close 0 to infinity such that f0 equal to 0 and f double dash x greater than 0 for all x. Then the function h of x equal to fx by x is option 1 increasing in 0 infinity, decreasing in 0 infinity increasing in 0 1 here 0 open 1 closed and decreasing in 1 infinity both open option 4 decreasing in 0 1 and increasing in 1 infinity here given that f double dash x greater than 0 for all x that is f dash x is monotonic increasing or strictly monotonic increasing now we differentiate h of x and we get h dash x equal to x square here x x into fx minus fx that is fx minus fx by x whole by x for obviously greater than 0 because we take common x and we cancel from upper and lower x. So this is x not equal to 0 that is x greater than 0. 
Now, if we apply Lagrange MBT, Lagrange MBT on the interval 0x on the function fx because fx is differentiable twice so the first derivative must exist that is continuous also so we apply the Lagrange Benefield theorem we get fx minus f0 by x minus 0 is equal to f dash j where 0 less j less x because j is lies between 0 and x and it is given that f of 0 equal to 0 so if we vanish this portion we get fx by x this now since f dash x is monotonic increasing and j less than x so we must have f dash j less than f dash x that is from this condition we get f of x by x equal to f dash j less than f dash x right that is f dash x is greater than f x by x okay now here this is f dash this is f dash and since f dash x is greater than f x by x so from this relation we can write h dash x is greater than 0 for all x greater than 0 because f dash x minus f x by x is greater than 0 and x is also greater than 0 and from this condition we say that h of x is h of x must be strictly monotonic increasing h of x must be strictly monotonic increasing for x greater than 0 so here the option 1 that is increasing in increasing in 0 infinity is correct ok so the option 1 increasing in 0 infinity is correct now the next question the local minimum and maximum of the function f maps minus 2 comma 2 to r defined by fx equal to e to the power x into 1 plus x square are respectively option 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 option 3 minus 1 2 and the last option is minus 2 2 here the function is from f from minus 2 2 to r and fx is defined by this so we first find the derivative of fx that is f dash x equal to e to the power x into 2x plus 1 plus x square into e to the power x and we take common e to the power x this is 1 plus x whole square now if we equate f dash x is equal to 0 then we get x equal to minus 1 also x equal to minus 1 belongs to minus 2 comma 2 so we can say that at x equal to minus 1 the function has maximum or minimum but it is important to see that other than x equal to minus 1 that is if this is x equal to minus 1 on the left side of x equal to minus 1 and on the right side of x equal to minus 1 that is minus 1 plus 0 and minus 1 minus 0 f dash x is always greater than 0 ok so only at the point x equal to minus 1 f dash x equal to 0 and on the other side on both sides left side and right side the function is greater than 0 so the function is increasing on left side of minus 1 and right side of minus 1 so the picture of the function can be taken as if this is x equal to minus 1 so the function is 
like that like this okay and at that point we cannot draw any tangent any tangent to the curve which is parallel to x axis which is parallel to x axis because here we take f dash x equal to 0 that is the tangent is parallel to x axis so the function has no maximum or minimum at x equal to minus 1 so the local maximum and local minimum is at at the end minus 2 is the local minimum and at the end 2 is the local maximum because in the whole range the function is increasing so this is the lowest point and this is the highest point right so the local minimum and local maximum is at minus 2 comma 2 that is the option 4 is correct if f of 0 equal to 5 and f of x less than 5 for all x not equal to 0 then which of the following is true 1 is f dash 0 equal to 0 2 f dash 0 equal to 5 3 f dash 0 equal to minus 5 and the last option is f dash 0 equal to 1 here f of 0 equal to 5 and f of x less than 0 for all x not equal to 0 so the curve of this function may be as if this is the origin so this is x equal to 0 and f of 0 equal to 5 this is x y equal to 5 and on the left side and on the right side that is if x not equal to 0 then the function then the function is less than 0 okay f x sorry this is not less than 0 this is less than 5 this is less than 5 so the curve is like that so we easily say that at that point the tangent is parallel to x axis so tangent is parallel to x axis this means f dash 0 is equal to 0 right so the option 1 is correct now the next question is in the Taylor's expansion of the function f x equal to e to the power x by 2 about x equal to 3 the coefficient of x minus 3 equal to the power 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 options. The Taylor series expansion about a point x equal to a is given by f of a plus x minus a into f dash a plus x minus a whole square by factorial 2 into f double dash a to infinity. Here we try to find the coefficient of x minus 3 whole to the power 5. So the coefficient is obviously f 5a by factorial 5. And here fx is this. So f5x is 1 by 2 to the power 5 into a to the power x by 2. And here a is 3. So f5 3 is 1 by 2 to the power 5 into e to the power 3 by 2. So the coefficient of x minus 3 whole to the power 5 is e to the power 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 to the power 5 into 5 factorial. And this is the option 2. Next question. Let fx equal to x square into sin 1 by x for x not equal to 0 and 0 for x equal to 0 then 1 f is differentiable at x equal to 0 but limit extends to 0 f does x not equal to fx and in the second option all the same otherwise equal to first in first option not equal to in the second option equal to third option f dash is continuous at x equal to 0 and f dash 0 equal to 0 and in the fourth option f dash is continuous at x equal to 0 and f dash 0 equal to 1 
we first differentiate the function and the, from the definition we get f dash 0 this is equal to limit x tends to 0 f of x minus f of 0 by x minus 0 that is limit x tends to 0 x square sin 1 by x by x so this is limit x tends to 0 x sin 1 by x and clearly this limit is exist and limiting value is 0 so f dash 0 is 0 this is correct but if we differentiate we get f dash x equal to 2x into sin 1 by x plus x square into cos 1 by x into minus 1 by x square and we cancel this because here x not equal to 0 so this is 2x sin 1 by x minus cos 1 by x now if we take limit limit extends to 0 f dash x then limit extends to 0 f this this value is 0 but this limit does not exist so we cannot say this is not equal to 0 so this is not equal to f dash 0 ok so the option 1 is correct and this is the last question of the class thank you thank you very much